Welcome to the Medi-Cal Customer Service Line. For faster service, please enter the last four digits of your social security number. Please enter your five-digit zip code now. Take your age, add five, multiply by six, divide by three, divide again by two, and subtract your age. Enter that number now. I'm sorry, we could not process your request at this time. Please enter the last four digits of your social security number. Enter the number of times Paul Simon has appeared on Saturday Night Live. Guess how tall I am. That's absolutely right. I'm sorry, we could not process your request. Please enter the last four digits of your social security number. Please mash the number zero over and over until it short circuits this system and you actually talk to a live person. Please enter the last four digits of your social. Please enter the last four digits of your social. Please enter the last four. Please enter the last. Please hold. Your call is important to us. Welcome to Medi-Cal. How may I help you today? Uh, yeah, I just have a small address change. I was talking to a Medi-Cal Choice representative yesterday, and he said you have my address, but not my apartment number. All right. For identification purposes, may I please have the last four digits of your social security number? 9999. Nine, nine. Your mother's maiden name? Brentwood Sunderland Menderson Kinsen. Your form form was cram spell. Larm garm frot brop more 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 squint. That's correct. Well, I see we actually have your apartment number. Really? Yes, it's just on the wrong line. Instead of being on the same line as your address, it's on the second address line. So it doesn't show up on some computers. That's why you're not getting some of your mail. Oh, well, let's fix that. Certainly, sir. For identification, may I please have the last four digits of your social security number? 4444. Four, four. Your mother's maiden name. Vernon Koppelman Sender Versen Meyer Kinsen Witzkenshire Shire. All right. Just let me put my passcode in here. All right. Let me try another passcode. All right. Let me try a generic passcode. All right. Let me try hitting random numbers. All right. Let me try. I'm sorry for the delay. Oh, no, no, no. I knew this was coming. I took the day off work for this. All right. Now, I'm going to have to leave the building and come back in again a few times. Do you want me to put you on hold, or do you want me to leave the phone hanging so you can overhear the office conversation? Uh, leave the phone hanging. Yeah, that's fine. Got it. Be right back. I disagree. You are the one who needs therapy. No, you, in fact, are the person uh, in need of therapy. We may have to agree to disagree. No, you need therapy. I dispute that. You are the one in need of therapy. Two hours later. That's not what therapy is for. What does that matter? Because you have to know why you're in therapy if you're going to get something out of it. But I'm not in therapy. You need therapy. No, you're the one who needs therapy. I do not need therapy. Hello, is However, this Mr. Forbish Herman Bezer Sonmanshire? Uh, that's me. I'm going to connect you to an outside call from your customer service rep. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, yeah. Okay, I have the passcode, but I had to go to Mexico for it, and now I can't get back in the country. Sure. So, first of all, I need you to put out some food for my dogs about two weeks' worth. Well, they'll just eat it all at once. Nah, my dogs are weird. They actually don't care about food. Really? Yeah, they're border collies. Oh, yeah, right, sure. Yeah, just leave some cans out. One of them knows the can opener. Got it. Then I need you to drive to Ensenada and find a smuggler with a hideous scar named... Pablo. What's the other scar's name? Jorge. Tell him you're Mr. Sander Meyer, Besser's son, Mankin, and you've come for the package. Good luck. I love you. Excuse me. Are you the smuggler with a hideous scar named Pablo? Yes. My name is Guillermo. I have come for the package. Which package? This digital camera or the lady from the call center? The call center lady. Ah, see. Si. Do you have a receipt? That's sexist. Of course it is. Then I shall take you to her. You sure you don't want the digital camera, though? Nobody's claimed it in 90 days, and I've already got one. No, thank you. I just want to add my apartment number to the main line of my address. Ah, see. Si. I have seen men like you before. Desperate men, trying to make right what is wrong. Let us go with God. Oh, I'm hit! He just got you in the hand. See, si. but it is fatal. Take this amulet. 
It is important. Thank you, my brother. See, and take this compass. It will always point you to your destiny. That is interesting. Yes, and take this trail mix in case you get peckish. Also, there's half a turkey sandwich. Got it. And here's tickets to a minor league hockey game. It's the San Diego Gulls versus the Bakersfield Condors. I think I'm free that night. Uh, let's see. Um, what else? Uh, do you need bookshelves? Uh, I have bookshelves. It's not IKEA stuff either. This is very good. <laughs> Good evening. I have traveled through many deserts and many streets and two blocks to find the woman from the call center. So, they have a turkey sandwich guided you well. May I come in? You are already in. I know. I was being polite. Then please come in. Would you like a bookshelf? No, thank you. I've already got one. Then there is nothing left but to fight to the death. Yes, nothing left. Oh, hang on. I've got to tweet this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now there's nothing left. Not the face! Ah, those are new sneakers! Oh, ah, damn it! You douchebag! Sorry, I did not tell you about my three henchmen. I suppose that made our fight asymmetrical? Before you kill me. Why are you trying to stop me from adding my apartment number to the main line of my address? Because I am lazy. Goodbye, Mr. Morton. Stand on. Forbish. Man. Son. Meyer. Wit. Sky. Vill. What kept you? You're welcome. How are my dogs? I caught one of them selling your furniture on eBay. I can guess which one. Have you got the amulet? Right here. I studied it all week, but I couldn't figure out what it was for. Nothing. It's just pretty. Now get out that compass. We've got to get across the border within seven hours, and there's only one way to do it. In a single-engine plane piloted by Gary Busey. Six hours and 59 minutes later. There is nothing to be afraid of! You gotta fight your fear! Truck 2016! Three hours later. And we're all set. So my apartment number is on the main line of my address and there's nothing on the second line. Correct. Now I've just got to find out if I have dental coverage. I can transfer you to Dentacal. Thanks. I'll never forget you. Please hold. (laughs) 